Before I start today's video about the new Rogue Anti-Malware, I would just like to mention that, yes, I have read your request, and I am also dying to make a Crypto Locker video. I've been wanting to make one for about two months now, and it has just been completely uncooperative. It just doesn't want to work correctly, and it really wouldn't be worth making a video unless if everything in it actually worked. Uh, making some progress on it, hopefully I can get a video out soon. But until then, we have a pretty decent rogue here. It's called Anti-Malware, kind of a lazy name, but it's no slouch. Check this out. So we'll go ahead and run it. And we should be able to open Task Manager still. Okay, so we see it running here. It's got sort of an interesting description. So there it is. We'll let that run for a little while. Play some solitaire. Oh, crap. There we go. Ah, what? what's happening? Something popped up. Go away, IE8. Go away, Microsoft. What is this? Internet Explorer warning. It's suspicious and contains exploits. We will... Hmm... I don't really have many options here. I can either purchase for secure internet surfing or check my computer for viruses and... Ma oh! Well, it's made the decision for me. Apparently we're gonna run anti-malware. What kind of name is that? Well, it is scanning, and it's found some very interesting uh, malware. We have dmd.bancos, win32 grams, cnnic update u, vmalum aws, advanced stealth email redirector 6.2, ld pinch v, win32 wad knock, c push, nukel best search, Edge Tech Disable Key Emojin.b Moonlight.v Autorun.aol Cinewall, hey, a real one. Antivirus 360, okay. Banker Fox, don't recall. P2P Share.u BitTerra.c a0.b Salady, okay, real. When Web Security 2008, pretty sure that's real. Downloader. Okay, so you get the gist of it. It's gonna come up with some kind of really weird malware names. We'll go ahead and stop the scan. Ah, it's found threats. We'll continue unprotected for the moment found 29 infections and we will cure them later. Let's check out the other tabs. And instead of letting us click the buttons, it sort of just has this pop-up here. So we have to activate anti-malware to get all this stuff. Copyright 2011. Okay. Yeah, well, let's just go ahead and cure the computer. Well, there's the security center. Pretty basic, really. Just two buttons. Ah! Attack! Or alert of an attack. Nukel.e is attacking. We'll go ahead and block that. Oh, uh, well. So here it is. Anti-malware. Antivirus soft. Just recycle those graphics. Don't even bother making a new one. So we've got all these uh, top testimonials. Let's just buy it. Three months. Why would you only buy it for three months? Anti-malware limited edition, I suppose. So you fill all this crap out. What is this? And what an interesting URL to choose. Look at this domain name. Antivm.com That's great. <laughs> I am glad they used that. Now, Oh, yeah, we were playing Solitaire before. Remember that? Well, let's try playing Calculator. No. 
It's damaged. It's a virus. We'll close that for now. Can we even change the wallpaper? Okay, we could. Theoretically. How about media player? Oh, it actually runs? What? Really? Well, almost. It almost ran. Task manager, you know that's blocked. Uh, we'll do notepad? Or XPS viewer? That's not going to work. How about that notepad? Not even notepad will run. Internet Explorer will run. However, you're going to be greeted with this. This block page, and there's no continue unprotected option, which is kind of annoying. But, that's okay. We can get around it by doing this. Now, this probably isn't the best way to go around it, but for this video, it's going to work. So, as you can see, it's using a local proxy server to give you this page instead of what you actually want. So if you quickly uncheck it like this, and you can get onto a website, hopefully. Almost. Let's try it again. It does work. You just have to be a bit quicker with it. Go, go, go. Go to Google. Go, 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 go. Almost. Damn. I'm getting closer, I swear. Connections, land settings, advanced clear this. We'll try that. Okay. Go, go, go. Go to Google. Damn, that usually works. Oh, now it works. The fuck? Okay, let's try our kill. In a time where I need to be quick. That's not good. That is not good. Five. Okay, R kill, R kill. Get over there, download now. Hurry up. Yes, protect my security. Microsoft, what? Whatever. It doesn't matter. So we'll download R kill. Let's see if we can somehow, by some miracle, run this. I think we're going to have a problem. Did it work? Made a folder. What does this mean? A registry key? What the hell? Did it really work? It did! Holy shit. It didn't work the last time. Wow. Well, that's what happens when you run a video live, I guess. Uh, you know, one take. That's all you get. Okay, so... Our kill apparently works. You just have to kind of work with it. So now we can just go leisurely to Google and get, well, maybe we should actually use this registry key. As you can see, it will, huh, well I guess that's what it was before, is this local proxy server. We'll just go ahead and fix that for the last time because it's not gonna change it back anymore let's go to malwarebytes.org there we go all right and now we can just do a quick scan okay so our quick scan is complete we'll go ahead and show the results and there it is we'll just go ahead and click remove selected and reboot Yes, and that will wrap it up for anti-malware, and honestly, I am very surprised at how well Arkill has worked. Uh, before this video, I ran this just to figure out what the removal procedure would be, and Arkill simply would not run. I had to go back into regular mode and download Malwarebytes Chameleon, and then go back into safe mode and do all that, so it was a bit annoying, but this time around, Arkill worked flawlessly. So, I'm very happy about that. It'll make a much simpler video to follow, at least. And thank you all very much for watching. Take care.